Hi guys, I'm gonna be giving away three new smart bands by the end of September. To enter the giveaway, subscribe to my channel and the other rules are written in the description. For now, go ahead and enjoy the video. Alright, so the middle of the home screen shows us the time date and day and also the battery percentage of your Mi Band 5. The upper portion shows us the steps count and at the bottom of the screen you get to know about your last heart rate statistics. In the next page you get to say your status. Tapping on it will show you your walking distance, the amount of calorie you burned, idle alerts and also the steps count of last 7 days. In the next page you have your PAI which stands for personal activity intelligence which basically gives you a reading from 1 to 100 based on your physical activities. I think it'll be too early to talk about its true potential, so I am saving it for the long term review. And if you don't want to miss out on that, how about you hit the subscribe button down below, that'd be awesome. Not to mention the PAI page will also give you 7 days of rating just like the steps count in the status page. In the next page of your Xiaomi fitness band, you get to measure your heart rate. And the best thing here you also get to know about the last time when you measured it. And one thing I noticed here that your heart rate in the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 gets automatically updated in every few minutes. Now that of course consumes a little bit of battery so if you don't want continuous heart rate tracking you can do that from the Mi Fit app which we will be talking about right in a moment so stick around. Furthermore, it also lets you know about your maximum and minimum heart rate throughout the day and also gives you rating about your current health state like how relaxed or intense you are. In the next page, you have your smartphone's notifications. For that, you'll need to allow the Mi Fit app to read your notifications. In the next page, we have the stretch meter, which is supposed to tell you how stressed you are. If you stay still for a moment, it'll give you a rating based on your stress level. I found it somewhat accurate so far but I can only give a statement after a proper bit of using so I will be giving my conclusion in the long term review so how about you hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post it. In the next page you'll have your events only if you set it from the Mi app. Up next we have the weather. Here you get to view your current location, the current temperature of the location that you're in, maximum and minimum temperature in that location, humidity level, wind level and even the UV level. Now that is a lot of detail to have in the weather section. Looks like Xiaomi is definitely using the extra space they have in the display compared to the Mi Band 4. And obviously you'll get to know about your 7 day weather forecast in the weather page as well. In the next page we have the workout page which includes 11 professional tracking mode which deserve to be talked in details. First off we have outdoor running. Once you tap on it, it'll ask you for your location. So I am recommending you to allow the MiFit app to have your location permission. But the actual fun begins at the little settings icon on top. Once you tap, you will see a bunch of options. And here you will be able to set a limit for your heart rate, pace rate and a distance limit. Which means while you are working out, if your heart rate, pace rate or distance exceeds the limit, the band will notify you. Now that is a lot of control to have over your activities. Especially it's gonna be very handy for old people as the Mi Band 5 will tell them exactly when to stop. And the best part here, you can customize all of these limits without touching your smartphone. Yes guys, you can customize all of these limits directly on the Mi Band 5. You're allowed to choose between all these options for pretty much all the tracking modes and in the swimming tracking, you can even set the size of your pool. Now I must say I'm so impressed with this new workout management of Xiaomi Mi Band 5. So what do you think guys? Do let us know in the comment section. So in the final page we have the more option. And the first thing under this option is DND. Under this option you will be able to turn on or off do not disturb of your smartphone. You are even allowed to set auto do not disturb on your smartphone which means when the fitness band decides that you are sleeping it will put your phone into do not disturb automatically. Also you are allowed to set do not disturb for a certain period of time. In the next page, you're allowed to set three types of alarm, but you cannot customize them here. For that, you'll need to enter the Mi Fit application. In the next option, you can use the Mi Band 5 as a camera shutter. And to do this, your smartphone is needed to be connected with your Mi Band 5 via Bluetooth. As you can see guys, it works perfectly fine. In the next option, you will be able to control your music with your smart band. You can change the tracks, you can change the volume level, and of course, you can also play or pause a song. And then you have an option for a stopwatch and a timer is followed by. In the next find device option you can ring your phone remotely. 
Oh, by the way, this will only work if your fitness band is connected with your smartphone via Bluetooth. You can silent your phone in the next option, which I found doesn't really work all the time. Next up, you have the option to use Alipay, which works only in China. And then you have a world clock. And in this, you get to know about different time zones right in your smart bands display. And then we have an interesting option, band display, which not only lets you choose between different watch faces, but also lets you customize it. So this is gonna come really handy for a lot of people who want to see a specific stuff on his band's home screen. And finally, if you enter the settings, you get to control your smart band's brightness. In the next option, you get to add a lock screen for your smart band, which if you enable this, you'll have to swipe up every time you're wanting to exit your smart band's home screen. Pretty useless, but still a feature. In the next option, you get to customize your screen timer on your smart band. You can set it up to 10 seconds, by the way. Finally, you have the option to reboot your smart band and also factory reset it. Whew, we're finally done with the smart band. Let's enter the Mi Fit app now. There's still a lot more features to talk about, trust me. In the Mi Fit application, the first thing you get to view is proper details about your BAI. BAI stands for Personal Psychological Activity Intelligence and it is supposed to keep you personally and psychologically a little bit more sound with all these data. You can read more about it in the FAQ section. And the next thing you get to know from the MiFit application is details about your stress level. I don't really have much of an idea how accurate this is but this is supposed to tell you how stressed you are. And in my observation I found it quite accurate so far. In the heart rate page you get to know about your maximum, minimum an average heart rate throughout the day and you also get to know about how much time you were in relaxed mode or in intensive mode. In the sleep tab, you not only get to know about your daily sleep pattern but also you get to know about your short naps and I can tell you guys this is really really accurate. Whenever I fell asleep, the band was successfully able to record it. And then you can play with your body fat and body balance which I don't want to talk about. And in the workout option, you get to know details about your steps count and looking at the statistics I can say I'm more than impressed with the accuracy. It even detected the light activity that I did in the afternoon. In this page you also get to know about how much calorie you burned and the best thing here you also know how you burned them. Now that is really helpful for a user if he wants to know how he is exactly burning his fat. You have a goal tracker at the bottom of the screen which lets you know if you achieved your steps goal. You can have a walking, running or cycling session from the Mi Feed app and you will get to see it on the map. In the friends tab, you're allowed to share your data with your friends and can also check your friends data as well. In the profile tab, you can set your steps goal and weight goal. In the behavior tagging option, you can track up to 17 activities and can even add a custom option. If you tap on the store, you can see a lot of cool watch faces and a lot of them offers animations as well, which wasn't happening in the Mi Band 4 by the way. In the Smart Analysis option, you can get personal advice based on your sleep quality. In the Settings option, you can set the units and also can set status in notification shade, which I don't recommend by the way. Now let's enter the Mi Band 5, we still have a few more features to talk about. So you can unlock your smartphone with your Xiaomi Mi Band 5 and you can either silent it or reject it directly from your smart band. You can add events from your Mi Fit app and the band will remind you in time. You can set different type of alarms from your Mi Fit application and the band will vibrate to wake you up. This is way more effective than using a smartphone alarm as it is gonna gradually wake you up by vibrating without disturbing anyone else in the room. In the app alert option, you can choose your favorite applications and you will get notified every time they receive a notification. In the idle alert option, the band vibrates in case you inactively pass more than an hour. You can also set do not disturb hour for this feature. You also get incoming message notification and also your goal notification when you reach it. If you tap on the find device option, the band will vibrate. Turning on lift wrist view info will light up the display every time you raise your hand. Turning on the night mode will automatically reduce the brightness of your smart van after the sunset. 
In the display settings, you can choose the order of your items on your band's display. And as you can see here, the menstrual cycle was hidden. So if you are a woman, enable it from here and the band will try to predict your menstrual cycle. Under the world clock settings, you can choose the specific time zones you need to display on your smart band. In the vibration settings, you can set specific vibration for a specific task. And in the weather settings, you can choose the units of the temperature. Okay, there are a few more minor features that I intentionally skipped, otherwise the video would probably never end. But if you think I missed out on any important features, do let us know in the comment section. And if you're still watching this video, how about you please subscribe to my channel, that'd mean the world to me. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, Ashakori Avarodekahabe.